global wide pandemic. There's only ways to cope. One of them is singing and add a dash of hope. But in all seriousness, <laughs> I definitely sang my way through COVID-19 and will continue to do so. In this past year, I knew that my kids were gonna be at home and that wasn't gonna stop them from learning music. So the gears started turning, the brain started working and I had to figure out how can I get instruments into the hands of every single one of my kids at home. Well, instrument kits started to be assembled and I assembled bag after bags Several became 100, then 200, then 300, and over 400 music bags were sent home. Then I also did a recorder pickup. So not only were my younger students having access to things like egg shakers, movement scarves, rhythm sticks, my older, more advanced students had those hands-on instruments right in their hands, getting ready to study the treble clef, more difficult note duration, and the amazing feeling that comes with learning how to play an instrument. Going into this year, I knew that everything had to be different. During the pandemic and teaching at home 100% virtually, I couldn't do what I've always done because we weren't in the same setting. I had to change everything to make it work for my students to keep them engaged and excited. And I kept everything going from performances to choir, we would meet everywhere from on the computer to in person, outside, rain or shine, we were making music and it was the absolute joy of my year. I had so much fun enjoying the challenge of reinventing myself, making myself better and making music with students who were ready to try anything after going through learning online and changing everything they knew about school as well. I'm definitely one of those teachers that everyone always sees us smiling and happy, but this year has been really tough for me as well. To go from live music making, singing, being able to hear my students, to watching them on a Google Meet, either playing the recorder or singing all on mute because of technology problems and feedback. It was really hard to stay positive at times, but I knew that I had to keep it all together and make sure that I was ready for my students to have a positive experience with music because this year, next year, last year, all of these different years feed into the following year and these students' musical journeys for the rest of their lives. And I think I tried to be really vulnerable and honest with my students about like if I was having a bad day or struggling with it and making sure that my students had a voice to share their feelings as well because music conveys all of these different emotions, happy, sad, melancholy, ecstatic, sad, lonely. And I really tried to make sure that students had a voice sharing their feelings, what they were going through, as well as to open up the wonderful discussion of music and how we could so easily do that on the computer, whether that's kids were 100% virtual or we're a mix of in-person and at-home kids discussing together working together to see how music and emotions play together. And so COVID honestly opened up a couple different new opportunities for me to explore different things that my curriculum wouldn't normally include during the year. And because I'll see a lot of these kids next year, I think they had a really unique year in terms of me becoming a better teacher and trying new things, exploring with them, and them really opening up their idea of what music means to them. When it was time to bring students back full time, my room was ready and safe emotionally and health wise so our students could get back to making music in ensemble format. They did an amazing job working together and the smiles I saw on their faces as their voices rang out together and they played instruments together for the first time that year it brought me so much joy and happiness. I absolutely adore and I'm so grateful for my job and how I get to teach music every single day. I can't wait to see what my students do next and I'm so proud of all the challenges they overcame this year and how we work together to never let music stop being made. Thank you.